Hi, welcome to this short video about the North Coast Synthesis Middle Path VCO. I made this patch with the Middle Path VCO. Let me first play it. <laughs> And then I'll pull out a few cables and explain you how I made this patch. Now let me remove these cables here, maybe not all of them, but, well, at least a few, just, I just have to remember what I did here, yeah, I think that's about right. So we're listening not yet, let me unmute those. We are listening to the two pulse outputs of the middle path of VCO. The one on the left is panned to the left and the one on the right is panned to the right. By patching something in here, at least when you're using the pulse output, you can modulate the pulse width there's 50% square waves as well, with separate outputs. We're not listening to this middle section yet. In fact, let me remove this cable as well. This middle section here... Well, let's listen to that. This middle section is... I think it's kind of unique to this VCO. It's normal to the triangle outputs of the separate course of middle path VCO. And you set the level of these with these knobs. And this is when nothing is plugged in here, kind of an offset. Now what you can do with this circuit is wave shape the triangle course and, well, it depends on how much you turn the knob. You can shape the triangles into a sine wave. And when you turn it up more... Wait, I'm routing this through a filter. So let me open the filter so we can hear all the harmonics. So when you close this, nothing is coming out of these outputs. There's two separate outputs, the sine and the cosine output. And depending on what you send in here, these are just, like they say on the panel, sines and cosine waves. But if you start routing different things into them, they just produce 90 degrees phase offsetted versions of the same thing. And you feed this part of the circuit by turning up these knobs, which create wave folded versions of whatever you send in. And like I said, when nothing is patched in here, it's just taking the triangle course of the both VCOs in middle path VCO. And then when nothing is patched in here, you can hear that we're getting yeah, some kind of variation. At some settings you can use this to perform a through zero phase modulation. But let me patch a slow sine wave in here. Now let's mute this middle section again and let's Let's listen to the outer course here.
I'm using one sequence coming from Moskva 2, patched in here. And when you just use one Volt Proctiv input, both of the VCOs track to that signal. But let me patch another sequence coming from step 8 through a quantizer in here. Right now, the oscillators are soft synced. This VCO is always the slave and this one is always the master. Hard sync, or firm as it's called here, sounds like this. But let's stay on the soft sync setting. So these are the pulse wave outputs. They are pulse width modulated with different LFOs coming from orbit 3. And now when I reintroduce the signal that I'm extracting from the both output, which is kind of a blend of the sine and the cosine signals, and it sounds just yeah, really interesting. This is routed through a synthesis system VCF low pass filter and if I turn down the frequency of this filter let me add some resonance as well I think this sounds really cool and now when I introduce the outer uh, pulse waves which are still panned uh, hard left and hard right. Now we can do several things. For example, I can send a signal FO into the FM inputs as well. By choosing either of these FM inputs, the signal you're sending in is normalized to both the cores, but they have their separate attenuators. What you can do as well is, for example, route the signals back to themselves. For this I'm using the triangle outputs. Let me do the same thing for the left core. Now I'm just sweeping the frequency of the filter where both output is routed through. In fact, let me, well, let me just remove the cable. So we're just listening to the outer course. Now what you can do instead is route them to each other, so the triangle output of the right core is routed into the FM input on the left one and vice versa. And when you turn these attenuators completely up, you get this kind of sound. And now when I mute these on the mixer and when we listen to the both output on the center section here, it's still routed through the filter but the filter is completely open. Let me close it about halfway and add some resonance. I think this is really interesting. Now let me slowly fade in the outputs of the outer cores again.
Now let me switch to the firm or hard sink up here for a moment. Well, let's turn off the sink altogether. And this is it for this short video. This is by no means an extensive playthrough. It's not a complete overview of this VCO. I think I'm going to make a few shorter videos about uh, this uh, VCO whenever I discover an interesting patch. I think by doing this you will get an idea of how this interesting complex VCO sounds. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you learned something. See you next time. Bye.